The United States of America was thrust into World War II when the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor. Thousands of men sacrificed their lives for our freedom during that war. And tonight, one local war hero remembers when the Japanese surrendered 74 years ago today. Channel 6's Barry Roy sat down with J.C. Alston as he remembered those moments of war. Good evening to you, Leslie. The moments of December 7th, 1941 will forever be remembered as one of the worst days in our history. But one local man relishes in the moment that the Japanese surrendered and World War II was over. I got, was getting relieved from watch to go eat breakfast. And uh, when it all started. J.C. Alston, a U.S. Navy veteran, will never forget the day the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor. Sometimes, you know, they'd have drills. Alston didn't see it coming, but he says when he looked up. You could see the plane. You could see the their marking on there. They knew they were Japanese because it was a rising sun on the planes. So there was no doubt who it was. Alston says the Japanese attack came when all three fighting groups were stationed at Pearl Harbor, a first in five weeks following daily target practice where one group was usually at sea. Now this ship Alston has a map of Pearl Harbor where the ships and his comrades were all stationed on that deadly day in December of 1941. And it was full of aviation gasoline. If they'd have hit that, I wouldn't be here today. His memory of suicide dive bomb attacks by the Japanese. Part of the wig landed on the quarter deck. They got that close for the blue up. Still clear in his mind decades right. later. The second one, the motor out of the aircraft hit the side of the ship. Third one, it just missed the ship and went on over. They didn't, they didn't blew up, but he missed the ship anyway. Fast forward three years and eight months from the attack on Pearl Harbor, the United States dropped the first atomic bomb over Hiroshima, August 6, 1945. They arrested us was flat, burned up. Three days later, they told them what they was going to do. The second bomb over Nagasaki was unleashed. The emperor said they're going to ruin our country. We got to give up. August 15th, 1945, VJ Day, 1,348 days after Pearl Harbor, the war was finally over. When you fight a war, you don't know if you're going to get killed today in a bar or maybe not get killed at all or what. At least you knew the, there was safety there as the war ended. And with all his memories, what he's witnessed, would this 96-year-old war hero change a thing. I'd still do it. I mean, I'd volunteer to do it. I wouldn't have, you know. Leslie, the first atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima, wiping out 90% of that city, killing 80,000 people. The second bomb dropped on Nagasaki three days later, killing another 40,000 people. World War II remains the most destructive conflict in history.